welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a behind-the-scenes look at what I get up to on an average day. The average day of a YouTuber slash online coach slash man who owns minimal t-shirts. The first hour of the day is very slow-paced. Honestly, I am not a morning person, so I'll wake up when my body wants to wake up, no alarm clock, hydrate myself, and make myself an exquisite cup of coffee. I'll then sit down at my desk and just scroll through my phone until my brain starts functioning properly. So once I've fiddled about my phone for a bit, had a coffee, kind of woken up, I will write down a list of things which I want to do on that particular day. Don't want to make that list too big. I want to actually make it achievable. So I make that list and then I'll just check my email, see if there's anything urgent which needs tending to. And usually I find first thing in the morning, it's when I'm most productive. So that is when I'm most likely to do those things which I really don't enjoy doing that much. The things which require, require quite a lot of attention. So I'll probably do that for about an hour or so. I'll usually fast during this period and then once I get hungry, I'll go and make myself some breakfast. When it comes to the first meal of the day, more often than not, it'll be some form of proteins and fats. So often it'll be an omelet of some form. It's just a personal preference. It's what I like to have first thing in the morning. It makes me feel good. And when it comes to the food which I consume, I try and keep the processed foods to a minimum. And the majority of the meals which I consume are prepared by myself so I can keep a track of the calories and the ingredients which go in them. So it does require me to put some time aside for meal prep and to go out and get the ingredients themselves. So when I do a shop, I usually just do a couple of smaller shops as opposed to one massive one. And I usually just go to any shop which is kind of like on the way back from the gym, just to save a bit of time. So just been to Sainsbury's, got myself a couple of essentials for the next few days. Fresh fruit, fresh veg, that'll be good until I need to do my next shop in a couple of days time. Aha! So I'm just about to go to the gym now. I need a little bit more food in my system, so I'm gonna make myself a quick protein shake courtesy of Bull Powers. Let's see what they have in store for us today. Oh, I do believe white chocolate coconut is what we're gonna go for today. Vegan blend, as I've said before, because dairy and whey doesn't really agree with me. But this protein all the way from Namibia. <laughs> now it's plant-based protein with a full amino acid chain profile. Absolutely spot on, good texture, and it tastes pretty damn nice as well, particularly if you have it with uh, almond milk or cashew milk. I do mix them up from time to time. A little bit of variety, so I'm gonna have one scoop, around 30 grams, a little bit more. A little bit of water as well, because I don't want it too thick. I'm gonna have a scoop of greens from gold powders. This is like the, uh, it's like a backup, uh, in case I don't get all my greens and goodness and minerals from uh, the vegetables which I eat. I'll whack that in there. Then, probably gonna have a few strawberries as well because I have some strawberries in the fridge so I might as well make use of them. And I'm not even gonna bother to take the little green leaves out because I am a savage. And yeah, all good to go, put it in the blender. I've always found that when you put protein in blenders, it just blends it up really good. <laughs> Shake, 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 shake. One more time. <laughs> Absolutely delightful. So if you've been watching some of my old videos, you'll have seen that I lived in Kingston before. End of last year, I moved a little bit more central London, around Earl's Court. And since then, I saw my car. To be honest, it's one of the best things I've ever done because I'm getting my step count up massively on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm averaging like 12, 14,000 steps a day, whereas before I used to probably get in about 2,000 because my gym was literally across the road. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like London. I really like London, I consider it home, but the weather is so unpredictable, especially now. Going into October, it's not gonna be good for the next six months. And it's kind of frustrating, especially when it comes to filming either when it's raining like this or when it just gets too cold. There's not really much I can do outside and it gets dark early as well. So that's one of the reasons why I like to travel so much, just to get a bit of a break from this. But to be fair, the summer was all right. Particularly last week, it was like sunny every day. But it's just one of those things that's so unpredictable. And it is England. If you've been here before or if you live here, you know what I'm talking about. Thanks for ruining the day, <laughs> So this little route which I take 
there and back to the gym. It takes about 20 minutes. One of the things I like about it is you go through Kensington and you're walking past a lot of very big, very nice houses and very nice cars. So not only is it nice to look at, but it's inspiring as well. It makes you want to go and make some money and be successful because clearly all these people have had some degree of success if they're living the way they're living now and this is how I want to live. This is the level which I want to be at. And walking through it every single day is a reminder to me to work hard and get the money. So at the gym, Equinox, the building looks very, very pretty as you can see. They've been doing something to it for the past year. Um, I like the gym, it's a nice gym. I get a bit of peace and quiet when I go in there. I can do my thing, headphones in, head down, no interruptions, nice equipment. Maybe not the best gym for bodybuilding, but it's nice and clean. It's got the basics, the fundamental things which I need to get a good session in. So, weather depending, after the gym, I'll go to Whole Foods. Whole Foods, by the way, my God, that seems to be on another level compared to all the other Whole Foods, the one on High Street, Kensington. Get myself a post-workout meal. I don't really track the calories for this one. I just enjoy the absolute, unbelievable quality that they offer. I get a juice. Today it's the Popeye juice, beet Popeye juice. Get a different one every day, depending on my mood. And then I get a meal deal, salmon. Always the salmon, because the salmon teriyaki just tastes so goddamn good. So you get salmon, mixture of two side veggies, as we can see here. And if it's not pissing it down with rain, I'll just chill in the park and eat it. Hopefully catch a bit of a tan before I walk back home. What takes up most of my time during the day is YouTube planning videos and editing videos. Sometimes it doesn't take as long, but other ones take like days for me to put together. And particularly when Louis is here, my cameraman, if he's staying for a week or 10 days, it's literally full on every day. Like from the moment we wake up, we go out, we film, we train, we take pictures, basically just stock up on content so that when he goes back home for a week or two weeks, I've kind of got that to tie me over. So when Louis is here, it's full on nonstop. When he's not here, it's a little bit more chilled out. And now, what's gonna be coming around the corner is my new swimwear line. So that is literally about to launch in a couple of weeks. Off to Ibiza next week to shoot content for it. And I'd imagine as soon as that takes off, that's gonna take up a lot of my time. And I guess the next step for me would be to build a team, you know, build the brand, the Thirst brand, and even the Mike Thurston coaching brand, and have a team of people to help kind of take it to the next level. Because at this point, I'm still trying to do everything by myself or a lot of it by myself, and there's a lot of things which I don't necessarily need to be doing and someone else can be doing. Um, obviously I've got Louis on board taking care of a lot of the video stuff and editing, but I do need someone to kind of take control of admin or even like social media planning and things like that, because the thought of having to manage my own content and then more content for the thirst where uh, swimwear stuff, it's going to be a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last meal of the day. Usually I'll make quite a bit of a big beastie meal to end off. I've got my carbs here, we've got a bit of rice, we've got a bit of spelt, we've got chicken, copious amounts of chicken, some beetroot, some tomato, and broccoli and asparagus. And I'm gonna put a little bit of some barbecue sauce on top because I'm feeling extra, extra naughty today. Uh, I'm not actually tracking this meal. I'm pretty chilled out with tracking calories now, particularly if I'm not cutting, if I'm just kind of like maintaining, enjoying my life. You know, I've been doing the whole macro tracking thing for 
freaking hell, feels like a decade, not quite as long as that, but I can kind of judge by eye how many calories that is. Usually satisfies quite a lot of the cravings if you've got enough carbs in there. A lot of people tend to get hungry or cravings later on at night because they're just not eating enough. That's the big issue I have. If I don't eat enough throughout the day, when I go to bed hungry, or I'm just not eating enough and I wake up in the middle of the night, it's gonna be very hard for me to get back to sleep. So, big meal before bed. Probably have this about like eight, nine o'clock, let it digest for two hours and then. <coughs> so, as the day draws to an end, I like to spend the last 30 minutes of the day lying on the bench of reflection, pondering over some of life's biggest questions. And then it's time for bed. So that is a typical day in the life of what I'm getting up to, guys. Whilst I'm living here in this apartment in Central Loving. Loving? What the <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So that is that, folks. A typical day in the life of what I'm getting up to these days whilst I'm living in London, in my new pad. Enjoying life, it's been a good day, been a productive one, made some gains, ate some good food, got rained on. It's all good. But anyway, man is tired. Man needs some sleep. And man is waffling on. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.